Good morning and welcome. I want to take this opportunity to welcome our governor and to thank him for coming back to Staten Island again. And uh, the last time he came here, he was giving out packages and unloading a truck. And the time before that, about a week before, he was doing the same thing in Fort Wadsworth. He not only sent us help, he was here delivering it to make sure that we were using it. So we thank you, Mr. Governor. I'd like to acknowledge uh, some of our elected officials here this evening. And uh, I'll start with Jimmy Otto, a minority leader of the city council. <laughs> Somewhere. And his colleague, Anizio, Vincent Anizio. <laughs> Last fall, fall, Superstorm Sandy swept through New York City, causing unprecedented, vast damage to our community. The light is terrible up here. Throughout it all, Governor <clears throat> Cuomo was here on the, on the ground making sure that the people of Staten Island were getting the help and support that they needed. As we approach the one-year anniversary of Sandy and as our communities continue to rebuild, we are now planning for the future. Again, thanks to the governor and his team and work, working together under the New York Rising Community Reconstruction Program, <clears throat> we are building back smarter and stronger than ever before. Under the program, we are taking that change to identify our assets and opportunities, our risk and our needs, and develop a plan that serves our community and is supported by our state. When the program is over, the community of Staten Island will be more Resil resilient and stronger than before the storm. Thank you, and now it is my pleasure to welcome Assemblyman Michael Cusick. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Jimmy. Uh, I, I want to take this opportunity uh, to thank the borough president for all his work, not only as borough president, but uh, le less than a year ago, when Sandy hit, it was this man who gathered up the elected officials here on Staten Island and who led the charge and led the effort to make sure that the entire Staten Island community was taken care of. So let's give Jim a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. I also have the honor of introducing my colleagues in the State Assembly. Uh, today we have with us Assemblyman Matthew Titone. Assemblyman Joseph Borelli, and Assemblywoman Nicole Meliotakis. It was um, close to 11 months that uh, Staten Island was devastated uh, by Sandy, and uh, many of our neighbors' homes, their lives were uprooted by that horrible storm. And many of the people in this room today had a lot to do with taking care of our neighbors. You know, Staten Island, we've said it many times, we're all one family here in Staten Island. Uh, we either know somebody through somebody or we're related to somebody. Andy Lanz is related to everybody, I think, <laughs> on the South Shore of Staten Island. And I had the North Shore pretty well covered. But that's what Staten Island was all about. And Sandy, with its devastation, not only we saw the worst, but we saw the best. We saw the best in the people of this great borough and this great community, but we saw the best from our leadership. And leading this state, Governor Cuomo, as the borough president mentioned, Governor Cuomo came in numerous times to Staten Island. And he could have come in and you know, did a tour and checked things out, but he was hands-on. He, he would be on a, a line handing out food. He'd be there handing out supplies so people could build. He was hands-on from day one. He was in contact with all of us, your elected officials, and that's what we needed. We needed that morale here on Staten Island. 
And because it's only been less than a year since that devastation, the pain is still there and the work still needs to be done. And the governor and his administration is now working with the community. You know, here on Staten Island as elected officials, I think we all can attest to, you know, the biggest complaint sometimes from people is our constituents or the people we represent is we don't have enough say. We want to say in how things are being delivered or how things are being put out there. This New York Rising allows that to happen. Many of you in this room will have direct say as to how we will go forward as a borough here in Staten Island. And we all know Staten Island is very unique and Staten Island has different needs. And that's why this plan that the governor has put forward with his leadership is the perfect fit for Staten Island. So I want to thank the governor for putting this community-based program in place. <clears throat> because that's the only way we're going to move forward as a borough. And I want to applaud him for that. I have the great pleasure now to introduce, and by the way, Governor, it's a good room. I want to now <laughs> introduce my good friend, the Senator for Staten Island, along with Senator Diane Savino, but my good friend, my partner in many pieces of legislation, many good works here in Staten Island, someone who really cares about Staten Island, Senator Andy Lanza. Thank you. Um, thank you, Assemblyman Cusick. You know, you've just heard uh, from both the borough president and our great Assemblyman Mike Cusick. We are very fortunate.